my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. I'm Amanda Kate, and today I'm going to be showing you what's in my purse. So I haven't done one of these videos since I think like I want to say almost two years ago when I first started my channel. And that one was the um, MK logo tote bag, and it's like gray with the black MK logo on it. Um, this I'm featuring my everyday pink Michael Kors. I'm not sure of the name of it. If I can find it online, I will link it or I will put the name or something in the video. Um, but I know that it's been about two years since I got it or a year and a half. So I'm not sure if this style still exists, but it's a very basic medium size. I would call this a maybe a tote bag. I don't know. I think tote bags have like a longer strap. Um, this might be a crossbody because it came with a strap to actually hold it on your shoulder. So I'm not like too familiar with the terms. I don't know. I just like see something I like and I buy it. <laughs> um, so I don't wear it with the strap because first of all, it's way too heavy and it would probably break. Um, and second of all, the look of this, I always just wear it like over my elbow like this. So that is what I do with this bag. Um, and I did dress for the occasion. <laughs> um, so before we get started, you guys asked in my last video to show you my jewelry. So I love doing that. And I actually wore my Michael Kors for the occasion as well. So I have a few Michael Kors necklaces. This is one of them. So it says Michael Kors. And then it says established in whatever year it was established. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I'm just wearing some Guess Rose Gold earrings. And my Michael Kors bracelet I showed you guys in my last video. So just super plain, super, not plain, but like basic, but still cute. So that's the look and the hair is in a ponytail because it's a little dirty. <laughs> um, so let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to mention is that every, like all the contents of my purse, I actually just kind of transfer it to my other purses um, when I'm gonna have another purse. So if I'm using my Louis Vuitton or if I'm using like another Michael Kors or I have some Aldo purses, I have um, my little Chanel bag. My little Chanel bag obviously doesn't hold this much, but um, this is usually the contents of my purse, but I do match the contents to the purse. So you'll see like my wallet is pink because this is pink. Um, so I would change it into my black wallet. So I kind of just transfer the contents, but I do make it match the purse. Um, so I don't know if I'm just crazy or if this is like if everyone does this, but um, so the first thing in my purse is my glasses case. It doesn't really close anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it is Michael Kors. So these are my everyday reading glasses are a little dirty right now, but these are Michael Kors. And then the second item is my keychain. I know I look like a janitor or a superintendent or something, but I have like my life on here. So I have this, which I've showed in my other video, I think for my, what's in my purse. It's actually a 3D printed brass knuckle, um, but in the shape of a cat. So it's very, very sharp. No one's gonna know because I think brass knuckles are like illegal if I'm not mistaken. So, if you're looking for this, I think uh, my mom got it on Etsy. So she bought all the girls in the family one and a few of my friends I gave some to. Um, so protection. Um, and then I have this pom-pom. I'm not like a fan of this one, but you remember when there was like, everyone had a pom-pom on like their purse <laughs> in like high school. This is one of the pom-poms I had um, and my light pink pom-pom broke. So I needed to, because this is how I find my keys in my purse. So I just attach this to my keys, but I was super a pink one. So I don't know if I find one at like the dollar store, I'll just grab one. Um, and then I have keys to like my family members' houses, my car key, and then three houses that I have customized. Um, and everyone in my family and friend group that has a key to my house, they have the cheetah print one because I just thought they know it's my house. Um, so that is my keychain. So I will show you guys what my purse looks like in terms of organization, if it doesn't all fall. So that is what it looks like. So I'm very conscious of like what's in the front and what's in the back. So the back, I kind of make everything straight and stand up. There's my wallet. And then in the front, there's just my um, makeup bag. I'll show you guys in a second. And then on the side is all like my bottles. Not like my bottles, but like my things in a bottle um, and then I have a zipper in the back and I have two small pockets in the front so these two so let's start with the back so 
So in here I have, it's um, actually one of the envelopes that I use for my Poshmark orders. If you're looking to buy some of my old clothing or old jewelry or accessories, my Poshmark is in my description um, and you will get this super cute little pink package. Um, so I actually put all of my important documents in here. So like my employee form um, when there was the lockdown and I was a critical employee and this like allowed me to leave my house basically. So I have some things like that in here. So just important paperwork that I don't want to just like throw into my purse. Um, so that is what's in here. And then in here I have, um, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it says like car registration. It's a little full of makeup right now, but it says car registration and insurance holder. So I just got this on Amazon. There's a little car on it. Um, I obviously won't show you guys what's inside, but there is some like pockets in here and you can put, I have like my insurance slip, my car paperwork, um, so if I get pulled over, I just pull that out. And then I have my color-coded wallet. So this is actually a Waldo, Waldo, <laughs> an Aldo wallet. So this says Aldo, um, but it matches like the purse exactly. It's just the lighting's kind of off, but it's like the same color almost as my shirt. It's a very light pink. Um, and then on the other side it says Aldo. And I know this is a very big wallet for some people. Like this is my Gucci shoe, the half of it, but um, this is my everyday wallet. So I love a big wallet and I'm keeping this Aldo one. I have a black one as well. And I'm keeping this one because I can't find a wallet that's as big. So like those little ones, like they just don't suit me. <laughs> um, I just have too much things and I like it to be spread out. Like those little ones are like short and like stubby and there's like a bunch of pockets and they like all flip out. Like that's just like, that's not for me. So I like this wallet and I can also, if I'm just running to like McDonald's or something, I can just take it as a wristlet. I have everything I need in here. So I have my important document, or not my important documents, my important cards. So like my credit card and stuff. And then obviously my money on one side. And then on the other side, it's organized by a type of card. So I have all of my like membership cards for different things and then all of my gift cards. So that's what's in my wallet. <laughs> Obviously, I have my change in the middle pocket. I'm trying not to show you guys like too much. Um, and then I have no receipts in here, but I don't keep receipts. I only keep them if it's like something important. Like if I buy like a new TV or something, I will keep it for a certain period of time. And I do have one pocket that has um, my grandma's little, what's it called in English? Uh, bookmark. <laughs> from her funeral not too long ago. And I do share that story with you guys in one of my previous videos. So if you're interested, or if you just want a good cry, check it out because you will probably cry. <laughs> and then I have a little picture of my aunt and I being silly. So that is what I have in my wallet. And then I have my <laughs> makeup bag, which is super heavy. Um, this is just from like a pharmacy that I found in the area. Um, I do switch out my makeup bag quite often and this one, I'm not sure if it looks like designer or if it looks really tacky, but either way I kind of love it. <laughs> um, and this is the size that I usually go for. I know it's like, it's insane, but I have everything in here so I can literally like take my makeup off and redo it just with the contents of this bag. So this is what I have on my bathroom counter usually when I do my makeup. And then when I go somewhere, this piece of hair is really bothering me. I'm sorry, it's bothering you guys. Um, and then this is what I bring when I go out. Like when I'm taking my purse with me, I just bring like my whole face. <laughs> so that's that. Um, but I do switch this up quite often. It's just like the pattern that I've been liking lately for some reason. So that's my makeup bag. And then I have these goodies that are on this side of my purse. I just like to have everything so organized. So I have my hairbrush, which is full of hair, which is yucky. Um, I have my spray deodorant. I am obsessed with deodorant. I have like a deodorant obsession. If you ask any of my friends, they'll tell you. I've never like smelt and I don't really sweat. I just have like a deodorant obsession. Like I'm always putting deodorant on. I think it's because it's so easy to apply to and it smells like coconut. So it just smells like fresh. So that's my deodorant. Um, and then I have my perfume. I showed you guys this in one of my previous videos when I did my $200 Bath & Body Works haul. I got this. I think it's one of the new scents they have for like summer. So it's the Coconut Fine Fragrance Mist. So I always have that with me. Um, and I do switch it out depending on the scent that I'm going for. But in the last like 
few weeks or months or so. Uh, that is my fragrance. So when I'm out and about, I have it with me. I have my dry shampoo. This one, I they just started carrying at Walmart. I'm obsessed. It's called Collab. Um, and I get the original one, so it's not white. There's no like white residue. And it also smells really good. I think it kind of smells like coconut. Yeah, it kind of smells like vanilla and coconut. So this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's like really cheap. I think it's like $10. And then I have this other deodorant. Nothing interesting there. And then I have a little hand cream because, you know, always need hand cream. Um, and right now the one I'm using is a Thousand Wishes and it's just from Bath and Body Works, but I do switch this out. So when it gets low, um, I'll just kind of open it with another one that I have. And then in my pocket in here, um, I do carry just like my little feminine hygiene products. If you know, you know. Um, and then in these pockets here, I have gum because yeah, always have gum. And the other one, obviously a mask. So I just have this, um, but I do have like a full pack of masks in my car. So everywhere that I go, I usually drive and I just take a new one out in my car. So it's like an emergency one, I guess, or if I go in someone else's car. And then I have a full tube of Carmex. I literally like eat this stuff. <laughs> there's one everywhere in my house. There's one in my key holder. There was like two in my makeup bag at all times. In every single one of my purses, there's a Carmex. In my coat pockets, there's Carmex. I'm obsessed with this stuff. If you know me, like you know. <laughs> I am obsessed with this stuff. So there's obviously one in here. And then I have my AirPods. So that is the contents of my purse. I know this was like a super quick video, but you guys really, really requested this. This is like my most requested. This and what's in my iPhone. You guys really want to see, so I promise I will do an updated one. Um, I don't know when, but if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification. <laughs> what a great segue. If you want to see more of me, definitely follow me on my socials. They're all linked down below. All linked down below. My Instagram is just at React Princess and i have so many discount codes you guys i see are using my discount code so i'm very very happy about that because you can save money and you can make money and there's just so many discount codes there are some like grocery shopping ones you get get money back while buying groceries which like everybody has to eat so great um there's some skip the dishes ones there's some fashion nova um there's amply which is you make money while just shopping and spending money so you get like a cash back um, I have some discount codes with like so many different companies. I even have a designer watch company I've partnered up with. Like I have so many. So if you want to save money or make money, check those out there in my description box. And as always, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.